Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you by the online se session. Because um, this session was supposed to be uh, an offline session, but it was um, changed, transferred to the online session because of the outbreak of the coronavirus uh, outbreak in China, and I think globally now. Um, in this session, I'll have a brief introduction about Cambridge University Press and its academic resources. Um, I think most of you have heard about Cambridge of University Cambridge University Press. Um, we are a department of the Cam the University of Cambridge, and uh, therefore we are a non-profit organization. So this is a key um, difference between. CUP and other commercial publishers. And our mission is to unlock potential with the best learning and the research solutions. Um, as mentioned before, CUP was a not-for-profit organization. So all the surplus uh, we gained is invested into the publishing services and infrastructure and the university as well. We have some uh, scholarship foundation for the University of Cambridge. And uh, although we base in the UK, but we uh, have global collaboration with the best universities and the best scholars all around the world. Um, we are always emphasize, emphasizing the high quality of our content, um, but how this is ensured. I think most of you have no idea about this because um, you, you are not quite familiar with the publishing industry. So I'd like to have a brief introduction about this. The press syndicate. This is the key mechanism that we can ensure the highest quali quality of our content. This is a governing body of the um, Cambridge University Press. It consists of 18 mem members we call syndicates, syndics. And uh, one of these members is the vice chancellor of the University of Cambridge. And the one is the senior officer from the university. And all the other 16 are professors from different schools of the university. And all our new publications, including books, journals, must be approved by this press syndicate, including all the authors of Nobel Prize winners. We have this mechanism uh, since uh, 1698. So this is the core mechanism that we can ensure the highest quality of our content. Now let's have a look at our publishing um, content. We have currently uh, over 410 peer-reviewed journals. Uh, those journals uh, also include some fully open access journals. And we publish uh, about 1,700 new book titles each year. And uh, currently we have about uh, over 50,000 uh, book titles available either in print or electronic versions. And we have a wide coverage of the subjects. As you can see from the figure, from the pie chart, we have about 60% of our publishing content focus on uh, humanities and social sciences, and the other 40% focuses on um, STM subjects. Here is a brief look of the um, accessible content of uh, HKBU. Currently, uh, HKP, HKBU have um, subscribed to 72 journals uh, of, from CUP. And all the other content, uh, for example, the Cambridge Companions Online, Cambridge Books Online, and Cambridge Histories Online are all ebooks. And here's uh, these titles um, mainly focuses on. Um, humanities and the social sciences, I think. Now I'm going to introduce about the um, platform 
uh, which hosts all the content, journal, content, academic content of DOP, including all the books and journals. Um, I have to mention that some very uh, little product series are still hosted on their individual platforms, but we are transferring all these contents to this unified platform. And here is a brief uh, introduction about the journals. Uh, currently, as I mentioned, we have about 410 journals and 74 of these journals uh, were indexed either in SCI, SSCI, or AHCI. And six journals rank top one in their um, individual categories. I think it to be exactly eight categories, including mathematics. We are uh, top three mathematics uh, publishers in the world. And also um, international religions. Uh, DOP is the number one politics publisher in the world. And we have uh, 15 journals ranked at top five and 32 journals ranked at top 10 in their each uh, categories. And uh, over 70% of our journals are published uh, in collaboration with the academic societies and institutions. Uh, this, this also ensures the global collaboration with the universities, institutions, and authors as well, uh, this can ensure the high quality of our journals. Here's the six top one journals. Uh, I'm going to introduce these journals in, in the following parts. And here list some of the associations, societies that we have collaboration with, including the uh, famous materials research uh, society and also WTO. And here are some uh, flagship journals of these societies, uh, including the World Politics, uh, the Journal of Materials Research. This is quite, uh, this, this journal has a lot of um, downloads and quotations uh, in our journal's portfolio. And here's the strength of our journals. Um, as I mentioned, um, about 60% of our uh, publishing content focuses on uh, humanities and social sciences. But in terms of the journals, uh, we are very strong in mathematics, uh, physics, computer science, life sciences, medicine. And these are all uh, SCM subjects. And in life sciences, we acquired CABI, the Center for Agriculture and Biosciences International uh, in 2006. And together with their about 13 or 14 journals. So this make a very good complementation to our journals portfolio. Uh, so we have very strong journals in life sciences. And the medicine, uh, in terms of medicine, we do not have a very high number, very large, large number of um, titles, but uh, we have few titles with very high quality and very good ranking uh, titles. And politics, as I mentioned, we are the number one publisher in this field. And uh, we have uh, four of the top 10% journals in political science, including the top, top one. Uh, number one journal. And we also have some uh, strong titles in the uh, area studies. I'll have a brief introduction about area studies in the, uh, in the session, in, in the later session, uh, because we have a very strong series of uh, Cambridge archive editions online. This is very um, important and uh, inevitable tool uh, for the studies of area studies. And here are some journals with very high uh, impact, impact factors, including the uh, China Quarterly. This is very popular uh, in Asia because uh, it focuses on the uh, um, politics, the um, history, and the very 
a wide aspect of the um, studies of China. And here are some uh, introduction about the mathematics uh, titles. Currently in mathematics, we have uh, 29 journals published and the uh, Acta Numerica is the top one journal in mathematics. And there are also some um, other titles, including the very uh, famous and the flagship journal of fluid, a journal of fluid mechanics. This is a very um, widely adopted title uh, in the field of physics. But it also uh, has its category uh, in mathematics. And here's physics and uh, astronomy. And uh, we have uh, about 16 titles in this field, uh, including the famous MRS bulletin. And economics, uh, I, I think we, we have strong economics, but not as strong as the other subjects as I mentioned before. And here's law, we have collaboration with the uh, uh, American Law, uh, International Law Society. So uh, we have very strong law titles. Uh, here's we come to the ebooks. Uh, currently, uh, as I introduced in the uh, at the start of this session, uh, most of our content have been transferred to the unified uh, platform Cambridge Core. And on this platform, Currently, we have over um, 36,000 ebooks, and uh, each year we will have some 1,500 1, new titles added into this platform. Um, and uh, our strong subjects in ebooks, I, I, I think we should say books, includes uh, language and linguistics. Uh, we are world's leading. Uh, publisher in language and uh, linguistics. Uh, and we also have political science, law, history, and economics, and mathematics, and uh, physics, and uh, astronomy. And besides these books published by Cambridge University Press, we also have some titles uh, of about 5,000 titles published by our publishing partners. These publishing partners are all uh, university presses. And these books uh, will have some, um, why these books are included in our platform is because uh, this individual university press have little number of um, publishing titles. So uh, they do not have very strong uh, dissemination method. So they have their titles integrated in, into our platform so that the students and the, uh, all the researchers can use this platform, Cambridge Call, to have uh, the access to their contents. Um, we have about uh, 170 Nobel Prize uh, laureates uh, public, have their either books or articles published with COP. But uh, I should say that uh, for most of these authors, uh, especially their books, uh, was published in their early uh, age of their uh, research life. Because when they, have, they won the Nobel Prize, uh, some commercial uh, publishing uh, houses will have some uh, very good um, opportunities for these Nobel Prize winners uh, because we are not a commercial organization. We are not for profit organization. So we cannot give very uh, favorable uh, commercial conditions. So when these authors uh, got the Nobel Prize, they will move to these commercial publishers to have their books published. Uh, here's some strong uh, subjects in humanities and social sciences, uh, including history. Uh, we have focuses on global history and area studies. 
and we have uh, ling language and linguistics, uh, politics, and international relations. Um, we have also uh, traditional strengths in the uh, psychology. And we have, uh, of course, literature. Uh, we have a lot of um, titles focusing on Shakespeare, but this is not quite popular in outside UK. So um, I should say a uh, few students have interest in uh, Shakespeare, in the study of Shakespeare. And we also have uh, some titles in management. And here's some uh, strong su uh, subjects in STM, uh, as mentioned before, mathematics, statistics. And uh, besides this, we also have some strong titles in earth and environmental sciences and engineering. Uh, these are all very popular subjects, uh, especially for some new um, interdiscipline subjects uh, like materials and uh, uh, environmental engineering and some, some subjects like this. And on this platform, you can also find some uh, Hot Topics collection. Uh, these collections uh, have a, a list of related titles to the uh, subjects. But these Hot Topics are mainly focuses on the technology and the sciences. No, uh, no um, HSS subject was included because um, in the research world, the STM uh, topics are really hot and uh, popular. And this is Cambridge Elements. Um, HKBU do not, does not have a uh, sub, sub, subscription to uh, this series, but I still want to have a brief introduction about this series uh, because this is a new format of publishing. It's a new hybrid format between books and journals. Um, Hi, hello, Samuel. Uh, yeah. Sorry, there is a question that we see uh, from the chat room. Uh, do you like to okay. answer that? Uh, Angela, yeah. Angela Wong uh, asked about, uh, do we need to register for an account uh, on Cambridge Core if we want to access the eBooks? Yes. Uh, uh, no. From the... no, yeah. no, no, need no. To. no need to. You don't need to uh, have a register an account, but uh, because these contents are IP controlled. But if you want to keep your um, your your history of your uh, of your research, I would suggest you register an account. This will help you to uh, have a history of what you have. Uh, looked what you have searched and what you have downloaded. So this will help with you um, to keep your consistent uh, research uh, on this platform. And meanwhile, if you have this account, you can use it on your mobile phone with the um, recent history, uh, what you have looked in uh, on your laptop or computer. Okay. Um but I think that also depends on whether we have subscription to the particular journal or the ebook, right? Is it true? Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes. But uh, for those uh, titles, uh, including journals and books, uh, mm -hmm. although you may do not have the uh, full text access to all the contents, but um, I think 80% of our journals have open access content. So okay, do you still have you know. accessible content. Yeah. So you still have access accessible content uh, for HKBU and the students. And we also have some open access books that you can have full text access to all the whole uh, chapters, all the chapters. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. Uh, Angela, any question? Additional questions? No. Okay. Uh, Angela is okay. our uh, arts liaison librarian. <laughs> So, so uh, the other the other uh, 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 participants sharing the video. Okay, please please uh, carry on. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll continue with Cambridge Elements. This is a completely new format of publishing because uh, we believe this format 
pub of, pub of publishing will have uh, rapid uh, publishing and dissemination period. And uh, this uh, series is also written by leading scholars and uh, um, so it's authoritative, the content is authoritative, but it was very short. Um, it, it, it was between books and journals. So it can be viewed as a collection of, uh, um, of, of uh, articles uh, focusing on uh, a specific topic. And uh, uh, this uh, series, each, ther each, each uh, Cambridge element title has about um, 20,000 to 30,000 words about 40 to uh, 75 pages. So it's very short uh, compared to a book, but it contains more content uh, compared with the uh, an article from a journal. Uh, Cambridge histories. Uh, it could you have, two, uh, have about uh, 100 titles uh, of this series. And the, the whole series is was first published in 1902. And currently, this series consists of about 400 volumes. And the covering, this is not about only history. It has, uh, covers a wide uh, range of political, uh, culture, and the literature, philosophy, and also religion, music, and arts. So it's not about just the history. It's, it covers a wide range of um, related subjects. So this is a, an essential uh, reference collection for all the students focus in history. In Cambridge Companions, uh, HKBU have, full, have, have access to all the 700 titles. So you can um, use this content as, um, as free as you want, I think. Uh, this is a concise and complete uh, collection. This collection is written by leading experts, but the, lang the language is very lively and uh, uh, easy to understand. So you can have a very good understanding of the uh, um, topics and you will have a general idea of the topics about the uh, philosophers, and some topics and also some periods. Uh, so this is very good um, series for undergraduate students. It's easy to understand, but it's also written by leading scholars, so it's authoritative. Uh, Cambridge Archive Editions. Um, this is the, the one I mentioned at the beginning of the session. Uh, this is a um, very lengthy um, collection. It has about over 1,000 volumes. And it, this, this, um, this series uh, is in partnership with Easterview. So uh, we have fully digitalized the entire uh, collection of the key British archival documents. So these are all original research in the government records and uh, we have digitalized these contents. So you can have very uh, easy to use uh, a way to find what you want. And it's also optimized uh, for the online platform, uh, fully searchable and the functions will help you to have a very easy uh, and user-friendly inter user -friendly, uh, interface on your mobile phone. And this collection can be uh, divided into four uh, small collections focusing on different topics. Uh, we have Near and Middle East, and we have East and Southeast Asia, and Slavic and the Balkan regions, and North America. And the, in the most recent published, the key title is Vietnam and the French Rule. Uh, this, this, this theory is quite popular for some uh, institutions that have um, the uh, subject of area studies. I think this is a very unique, um, but also essential reference for 
politics and history uh, studies. Yes, uh, I think that's all for uh, my part today. Um, I think you know, uh, Cambridge University Press have a wide range of uh, subjects and uh, content. So uh, here I just uh, have choose some very um, featured topics and collections for you. And I think you can have better understanding when you use this uh, platform. I know uh, most students will prefer to use a discovery tool uh, to have the unified search function for all the resources. But I think uh, once you have a general idea about what one specific publisher have, and you can have better experience and uh, also better, um, uh, you have also have a, a, a better and uh, efficient way to find what you want on their specific platform. Thank you for your time. And do you have any question? And you, you are, you are free to uh, raise your hand. Um, uh, Samuel, I'm just wondering, do you like to do some live demonstration on the uh, Cambridge Core and also the Cambridge uh, Companions Online? Uh, you see okay, no uh, your browser, yeah. Because uh, yeah, I checked and then it's really, I think it's really uh, user friendly, very beautifully designed. So uh, maybe we can take the time to to do some live uh, demonstration. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it's Thank a very you. comprehensive uh, introduction. Thank you. Uh, when you log in to the Cambridge call, uh, it will have this interface, and uh, um, this platform is quite easy to use. You just uh, type in what you want to, uh, for example. For example, uh, linguistics. Yes. And then you can search for the specific subject. Sorry, my speed is a little bit low. No yeah. worries. Yeah. Yes, you can have a brief view of this platform. And uh, on the uh, left side, you can have a look at the access type. Uh, can you see this with a green yes. uh, icon? This means you have full text uh, access to the contents with this uh, icon. And if you have uh, this icon, it means this is an open access article or open access book. So you can have also have uh, full text access to this content regardless of whether HKB you have sub, sub, subscription or not. And you can filter uh, if you want an article, a specific chapter, or even a book or journal title. And uh, uh, if you want to look for a specific title or subject, you can also use the uh, broad subjects. And then you will have a full list of the subjects uh, for example, if you want to have a look at history, then you can you will access this page. And uh, here's the some journals. At the top, th this will have a, a brief introduction about the history content of uh, Cambridge Call. And then you will have the full list of uh, history journals. And you can, sorry and you can click show all to have uh, the full list. Well, this is the full list of COP uh, publications rather than uh, our collect, like the, the journals that we have subscribed yes. to, right? Oh. Yes, this okay. is the full okay. list of yeah. all the uh, all journal titles uh, related to history and regardless okay. of whether you have or not the full text mm -hmm. access. And then uh, the book titles. Mm -hmm. Here also um, list some featured titles because we have a lot of history titles, uh, mm -hmm. book titles. So just a very short. Well, and, this is uh, good for 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 browsing and then for further exploration. Yes. Yes, yeah. we have some mm -hmm. very featured titles to be shown on this page. Mm -hmm. 
And here's also some uh, blogs from uh, our editors. So we will uh, have updates regularly from our editors to have a specific topic on this um, subject. For example, this history. And this, at the end of the page, uh, it will show the new titles, the recently published titles. And uh, this also the history series, uh, for example, the African studies. And these are also uh, the, these are all the book series. Yes. And uh, Great. if you want to know more about what, what we have, and you can go to the what we publish page, and you can have a brief uh, understanding of the structure of our publishing. Uh, we have collection and series. Uh, collection, you can see companions, uh, histories. Uh, I have introduced these two uh, collections uh, in my mm -hmm. presentation. And we also have uh, Cambridge Shakespeare. This is a new series published in um, 2000, uh, 2019. But uh, I don't think uh, students in Asia will have a lot of interest in this subject. And we also have uh, handbooks and the, the dispute settlement reports. This, this is the one uh, I introduced uh, at the beginning of my uh, presentation. This is not on Cambridge call. This is on a separate platform. Uh, we call it international law reports. And uh, we have journals and uh, books. And also text books. Um, yeah, <laughs> yes. but I, I think we probably we don't have a lot of, um, uh, we didn't buy, uh, we didn't buy a lot of uh, textbooks from your, oh. your, your, yes, from the CUP. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, I need to double and... check. Okay, <laughs> thank you. And um, elements, and then, the one. Yes. yes, Um, sorry. And then I just see another um, message uh, from Wing, Wing Wu from um, actually also an, our colleague uh, from Collection Development. Uh, he, uh, she wondered uh, whether you can demonstrate the Cambridge archives uh, to, the, to the students. Okay, Cambridge Archive is also on the other individual platform. You can find them here, uh, digital products. Oh, that's very, very well hidden. Yeah. Uh, yes, and you put down to the end, you can find Cambridge Archive editions online. And uh, uh, you can see here, uh, Africa, uh, Africa Bibliography and also um, Cambridge Law Reports and the Dictionary of Irish Biography and Orlando and uh, Shakespeare Survey uh, and Staha Online. These all on individual platform and uh, will be transferring to the Cambridge Core platform, but it was in progress now. Okay, so that means if I want to search for archival uh, resources, which which is on the uh, Cambridge Archive in Cambridge Core, uh, at this moment I cannot find those resources. Is that correct? So yes. I need to, you, uh, yeah, you need to go to separate. the individual platform. Okay, that's good to know. Um, yeah, I uh, just want to quickly mention uh, how to find Cambridge uh, CUP resources uh, in the HKBU library website. So uh, you can uh, go to, uh, I mean, I, to the students, you can go to the chat. Uh, currently, we are posting the links uh, to how to discover Cambridge resources uh, in uh, the, our database into that list. So you can just click on the link uh, that I just posted or alternatively, uh, as Ma Angela mentioned, uh, you can uh, go to the library homepage uh, and then under the database tab, uh, tab you can uh, uh, click on C 
Uh, so that means I start with the capital letter C and I can find all the resources uh, related to Cambridge. Yeah. So I want to quickly highlight this in case you want to do some uh, practice while Samuel introduced the platforms. Okay. Um, I still, we still have uh, some, uh, a few, a uh, couple of minutes. I do like to demonstrate the uh, com companion online. Yeah, I find that one is really good for like exploration and for generic uh, study to get to know a like research topic on overall, like overall. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I find this one is really, um, it's very short, brief, but, uh, and then, it, like, it, it brings us to lots of uh, additional resources. So I really enjoy this resource uh, very much. Thank you. And this Cambridge Companion, uh, this series, this collection is on the Cambridge Co-op platform. So uh, you can go to this collection, either via the digital products page, or you can go to the um, what we publish and the collection and the series, you can go to the, you can find the companion series. And in this series, uh, you can have a full list of the theory. Currently we have uh, 722, 28 uh, titles in this collection. So you can filter by the publishing, uh, publication date, by the, also the subject. For example, if you want, if you want to uh, look at the history and you can uh, click the history and uh, all the history titles will be uh, displayed on the right side and you can have access to the title. And uh, if you, you see this title uh, shows coming soon, it means this title will be published uh, in the recent period. Uh, we have um, we have publishing plan for the most recent one year. So um, if you have you you if the title you want shows uh, it will be coming soon, then you can find out one the expected peer, uh, date here. So this title is expected to be published uh, in September 2020, and then Back you can, yeah, yeah. Then you can go go to this page again. So once you can find this title, it means this real title will be surely published. Otherwise, we will not have this uh, title shown on the platform. Great. Um, and then just to remind everyone that we do have full access to uh, companions. So so everything you see here, I assume including those coming soon ones, right? <laughs> if we still yes. have access. Okay, that's yes. great. Mm. Yes, and we, uh, you can download uh, a specific ch ch chapter or you can download the whole title via download PDF and you will have mm. a zip file. Uh, you can also use the send to Kindle or send to Dropbox uh, or Google Drive that you can use the uh, very uh, specific uh, app. I think in most cases, this will be uh, used on your mobile phone. Okay, great. Yeah, um, and if, uh, as I mentioned before, just one point, uh, you can log in and after you log in, you can use this function, uh, save to my bookmarks. This will help you to find uh, where you are uh, last time. So you will have a better uh, experience when uh, you have to find what you, ha you, you looked last time. Great.